Hey, what up, fam? If you're anything like me, I'm sure you're considering homeschooling or public school and you don't know what to do. The pandemic stuff got you crazy. You don't know which way to go, if it's safe for your kids to go back to school, or should you just sit home and take care of their education yourself? What are we going to do? I'm going to talk to you today about homeschooling versus public school. Stay tuned. Chrissy's life where I live my life as a mom and a wife now today I'm going to be speaking to you about a conversation that we all must have with each other is it going to be homeschooling or is it going to be public school I don't know I'm sitting here baffled about the decision myself as you all know I have six-year-old twins that are school you know we all have kids that are school age, and we have to make that decision. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a little background about each, some pros and some cons, and then we'll come to a conclusion and we'll see what you think. All right, we're going to start with public school. Now, a little bit of background about public school. If you guys see me looking down, I have my notes here, okay? Um, children are in the care of um, trained professionals. So these teachers are trained professionals to take care of your children as well as to educate them on a daily basis or Monday through Friday. Also, um, the curriculum that they're learning is either statewide or district-wide depending on where you live. Um, also, the parents almost have no influence on what their children is your, what they're learning you know they do they can voice their opinions but nine times out of ten the curriculum is preset for the teachers to teach your children most of the classroom sizes start from between 20 to 25 children sometimes less sometimes more but the average is about 20 to 25 children also, when your kid goes to public school, they are away from home between seven and a half to eight hours a day. Now, not, that's not just at school. That's also their transportation to and from. So from the time your kid leaves your door to the time that they arrive back home, it's about seven to seven and a half hours. Also, there is public school at home, which is very similar to going to school. The only thing is it's the same curriculum. It is virtual over the computer. Your kid has to have a computer in order to interact with the teachers who may or may not teach them online, but they do put their assignments and everything that they do, they list it online for them to do it and give them a time frame in which it is to be done. Public school at home, your kids, sometimes the kids can, or they most likely will, finish their schoolwork in lightning speed. I'm talking three to four hours max, sometimes less than that. You have kids that are able to buckle down and focus and complete their work for the day in about two to three hours. Or you have those who can stretch their, um, their time out. The teachers give the work for the week. If your child is determined to have their week to themselves, they can always just take Monday and complete everything that they have listed to do. Or they can do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, however they choose, as long as they, you know, have their work done by the due date. And the curriculum is basically, like I said, the same. Now, for homeschooling. 
parents determine their schedule. There is no set schedule. You don't go to school from 7 to 3. You don't have to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. You can choose whatever schedule you want for your kids to be on. If you want to, them to be schooled at night, it's your choice. Also, um, you use the curriculum of your choice, which means there's different styles of teaching. There's different things that you teach your child. You have the choice of what that is. You have the choice of what they learn, how they learn it, and what style you teach it in. It is a 100% parent-taught education. And some states do have requirements on homeschoolers to where you have to have a certain amount of hours um, and a certain amount of days of schooling. But those days and those hours are all up to you. Now, let's get into the pros of public school. Number one, and the best one, is it's free. It is 100% free. Sort of. Um, it allows the parents to be able to work away from home. They don't have to stay home because their children are away at school and they can work outside of the home. Also, the care of your child is in the hands of a professional who has had a background check, which means you don't have to hire a babysitter and hope that they are safe for your children. These teachers and staff all have a background check in order to be able to work around and with your children. There is lots of opportunity for your kids to play and interact with other children their age. Now the pros of homeschool. Parents have a huge influence on their child's education and the curriculum that their children are being taught. Which means you choose, you decide what your kids learn and how they learn it. Parents control the cost of the curriculum and the materials that are used, which means you don't have to go out and buy 15 packs of glue and 10 packs of crayons. You choose what it is that your children need for your curriculum that you choose that you're teaching. Also, parents can give individual attention to the subjects or areas that their child is the weakest in, which means if you see that your child is struggling in something, you can stop your curriculum right where you're at and hone in to what it is that they're having a problem with and help them through it. And once they get a complete um, understanding of whatever it is that they're having lack in, then you can move on. Also, one of the best things is you are flexible with your life which means if you choose that you want to go on vacation today and this is a school day you can still go you can teach your kids when you get to the hotel you can have a break time in the vacation to where you go ahead and say okay it's time to get some work done let's go ahead over some reading or math or whatever it's very versatile you can take it anywhere with you and you don't have to stop your life or stop vacations or stop family functions just for school. Okay, now we're going to get to the cons. Public school. Most of your child's daily influence is on the public school or in the public school. Which means it's the teachers, the staff, and other students. There is a lot of pressure on the parents for additional expenses for the children, which means there's school clothes, there's school shoes, there's uh, fundraisers, there's also paid field trips that your kids have to pay to go on, and if they don't pay, they can't go. Also, the curriculum in public school is aimed towards a child with average intelligence, which means they have very little room for self-paced learners. So if you have an above average learner, that means that they sometimes go um, under challenged. If you have a below average learner, sometimes they slip through the cracks. In public schools, children have more chances of being bullied and badly influenced by other children.
Now, we're going to go to the cons of homeschooling. Number one, it, it requires a lot of time and effort from the parent, which means the parent is the number one educator. So not only does the parent pick the curriculum, the parent also, you know, has to have time or take time out of their day to be able to teach their children. Also, the package curriculum and extracurricular activities can become very, very expensive. That meaning, however, whichever curriculum you choose, it could be as expensive as you want it to be, depending on the style that you choose, or it can be as cheap as you want it to be. Not only that, a lot of times in public schools, they have uh, extracurricular activities that, that are offered through the school. Homeschooling kids don't have extracurricular activities that are offered that is offered through the program or through the curriculum. The parents, it's up to them to take responsibility to go out and get their kids the extracurricular activities that they desire, which is not impossible. Parents who are easily distracted can have a terrible effect on their kids' education. So the parent must be focused when it's time for school. They can't have outside influence, people coming in, you know, people doing things, telephone calls. When it's time for school, it needs to be time for school so that you don't slip or lack on anything that your child needs to learn. The parents and the families have to focus deliberately on socialization for their children, which means you have to stay up on the community functions, you have to stay up on uh, different things that's going on in your area. Um, you have to go on, um, try to find other parents in your area who are homeschoolers so that your kids can have some sort of social life. They need to be able to speak to other kids, um, their other peers, other people. So socialization is an issue for some homeschoolers because their parents are stuck trying to find ways so that their kids can be able to socialize with their peers, especially if you live in a rural, a rural area or if you live in an area where nobody is homeschooled but you. Now, in conclusion, the you know public school factors that I gave you, it all is depending on the school that your child attends. Some people find that schools have more um, ability or opportunities for the kids to do extracurricular activities such as theater or band or, you know, playing football or any type of sports. But also, homeschool kids have that same opportunity. How? There are theater companies in your area that offer theater classes. There are musical companies that offer, um, they can teach your kids how to play instruments if that's their desire. And there's always community sports. So they do have an opportunity to play or do any type of extracurricular activity. It's just going to take a little more work on the parent's behalf. Um, also, either one of these decisions, it all depends on your family's dynamic. How do you feel about this? Are you comfortable with your kids going back to public schools? Are you scared for them to go back to public school because of the pandemic? Do you feel that their socialization is going to lack if they do homeschooling? Or are you the parent that wants to take your child's education into your own hand and want to keep them safe and at home with you and have less worries? I'm on the fence. I don't know, but I would like to hear what you guys think. How do you feel? Do you think you want to homeschool or send your kids back to public school? I'm not sure, but please leave a comment in the comment section below because I would like to know what you all think about this. Hopefully you found this video informative. Hopefully I gave you some information that will help you make up your decision. I need to make my decision very quickly. Why? Because it's almost time for school to start. We don't have much time to waste. Like I said, in the comment section below, leave me your thoughts. Tell me which way you're leaning, what kind of questions you're having, how you feel about the subject altogether. All right? Thank you guys for joining me on this conversation, public school. 
versus private school. Thank you, and I will see you next time. Peace.